Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSC class 10th maths exercise 5.1 question number 1. In question number 1, there are 4 sub questions we are going to solve all. What they told us that find out the whether the given questions are AP or not. So one by one we will read the question and we will try to solve and check whether it is forming an AP or not. First, the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer. So first we have to see, let us take charge for charge for first kilometer or one kilometer charge for one kilometer what you will say it's rupees 15 so 15 charge for second kilometer means charge for two kilometers sorry not second charge for two kilometer will be 15 plus 8 so it will be 23 charge for three kilometers it will be 15 plus 8 plus 8 so 15 plus 8 20 23 plus 8 31 you can see we are, we are getting a sequence that is 15 23 and 31 whether it is forming a ap or no how we can find out a1 this is a2 this is a3 check d is equal to a2 minus a1 you can see 23 minus 15 that is 8 again d is equal to a3 minus a2 that is 31 minus 23 Again, that is 8. So here we are getting an 8. Similarly, 8 will increase. If they are asking for solution, we can so, see like so like this. Otherwise, we know that it is in AP only. Now for the next question. The amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one-fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at a time. Generally, I had seen my students always say, sir, this is an AP. But no, this is not forming an AP. Why? It is removing one fourth of the air remaining inside the cylinder. Means every time it is not removing the same air. Means if one fourth, one fourth, uh, it is removing, then in four pump, the pump will get finished. But here it is, they are telling that from the remaining air, one fourth is they are taking out. So every time same amount of air is not going to release. And if they will ask us to prove how we can prove. Suppose the air present inside the cylinder, suppose the air present inside the cylinder, take it as x or you can take 1 kg also, 1 kg. Now one fourth of it is removed, so air after first pump. Means if we are pressing it for the first time, one fourth of the air from this will get removed. Means one fourth of the air present that is one kg, that is one minus one by four. You have to find out LCM. So this will become four minus one by four. That is three fourth of the air will be remaining. So three four kg will be remaining. This was present earlier. Now the remaining is three four, three by four kg. Air after second pumping means after second time if we are we had used it then how much air will remain three fourth three by fourth air was present inside that out of that one fourth is removed but one but one fourth of three fourth so this will become three by four minus three by sixteen so again we have to find out lcm for forza this will become twelve minus three by 16 so this will become 9 by 16 kg now this much air is remaining now you are getting three numbers you can suppose this as ap uh, take as take 1 kg as first number 3 by 4 as second number 9 by 16 and find out the difference every time you will get you will get different difference so this is not an ap a2 minus a1 that is 3 by 4 minus 1 you will get minus 1 by 4 you have to find out LCM I had done directly now difference A3 minus A2 here also you will get different difference 9 by 16 minus 3 by 4 again you will get uh, LCM 4 so 4 12 
minus 2 minus 3 by 4 so here the difference is not same so we can say it is not forming an ap moving towards the third question the cost of digging a well after every meter of digging when it cost rupees 150 for the first meter and rises by rupees 50 for each subsequent meter so directly we can see that for first meter charges is rupees 150 for two meters charges will become 150 plus 50 additional rupees 200 then for three meters again 50 will increase so rupees 250 you can see it is for every time 50 is increased or you can find out the d and every time you will get d50 so it is also forming an ap now question number four the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10,000 is deposited at compound interest at 8% per annum it's so simple compound whenever compound interest is there we know that every time in interest is increasing so it will not be an AP but I we have to prove by showing it so first we take the amount present present amount in bank present amount in bank or bank amount deposited in bank is equal to rupees 10,000 so first we are having to 10,000 now I got interest so total amount is equal to after one year total amount after one year will be 10,000 plus interest so we know what is the formula for interest PRT upon 100 so 10,000 into rate of interest into time that is one year by 100 PRT upon 100 if this will get cancelled this will become 10,000 plus 800 so the amount will become rupees 10,800 first it was rupees 10,000 now it had become 10,800 total amount after two years will be 10,800 is now our principal 10,800 plus interest how we can find out the interest prt upon 100 so 10800 into rate of interest that is 8 into time 1 by 100 so this will get cancelled it will become 10800 plus 64 and 8 864 so our total amount will become 648 and 16 carry 1 1 1 eleven thousand six hundred and sixty four now you can directly also see that the amount is not increased same the first year it was increased eight hundred now eight hundred and sixty four increase so you will not get an ap your difference will be different so this way we can solve this thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much